Have you been drinking the same coffee for so long that you can't even taste it anymore? Are you tired of spending $15 on a bag of coffee that you don't even like? Then this coffee show is for you. Welcome to the Bracketology of Coffee, the Season 2 Finale. The day is finally here, our final matchup of the season. Let me go ahead and introduce today's competitors. First off, we have Dunkin' Donuts. Their origin is not disclosed. 12 ounces goes for $5.68. It's a medium roast and they ranked number 4 in my brackets. Going up against Caribou Coffee Daybreak. The origin is the Americas and East Africa. 12 ounces goes for $7.28. It's a light roast and they ranked number two in my brackets. Let me tell you how this works. I prepare these coffees in a French press. The recipe I use is one tablespoon of coffee grounds for every five ounces of water. I steep it for four minutes and typically let it cool off for just a couple minutes after that helps me to taste it just a tiny bit better. As you can see, I'm coming to you from my pop-up camper at the uh, Mountaindale Resort, Mountaindale RV Resort in Colorado Springs. It has been windy all night and all day. The wind finally calmed down, so I decided to record a video. Uh, the way this competition works, it consists of two halves. The first half, I drink the coffees black, fresh out of the French press, and the second half, I add a little bit of cream. Each round they'll be scored out of 100, so any potential coffee could get up to 200 points. So let me get these coffees brewing and I'll be right back. Alright, here it is. So, uh, two quick footnotes before we get started. 25% of the population is thought to be a super taster, and I am not a super taster. I consider myself an average taster. I enjoy drinking coffee side by side and discovering new coffees. What I look for in coffee is drinkability, something that's smooth and flavorful with a pleasing aftertaste. So, all day long I've been getting prepped for Season 3, so at the end of this video I will show you a preview of the Season 3 coffees. We're going to do four world market coffees versus four Target brand coffees, which is called Archer Farms. And they all, both of those stores put out really great coffee, so it's going to be a good matchup. But let's get going with today's competition. These are two of my favorite coffees, Dunkin' Donuts and Caribou. I'm going to put some coffee tips on the screen for you. Hopefully that'll be helpful. Also, the wind has been blowing hard all day, so... The camper might start shaking, I'll have to apologize in advance. So the way I do it, I drink the coffees twice. First time, just want first taste, I just want to get an overview, and the second taste, I'll give them a score. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts, I have had both of these coffees multiple, multiple times, but what I realized this morning when I was drinking my coffee is it's really hard for me to, to distinguish the specific characteristics until I put them side by side. That's why this is so fun. It's not really about the score per se as it is about the score against the competitor. So obviously I've already tasted both of these coffees twice in previous rounds, but it's not about the score. It's about when they go head to head, which one tastes better to me in the moment. So uh, let me go ahead and get an overview on this Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, the Dunkin' Donuts is delicious. It's got its own unique characteristics to it for sure. So it'll be interesting to see. This is going to be a tough one for me to score these actually because I have tasted them so many times and I'm, I'm totally in love with both of them. So let's get an overview on this Caribou Coffee. Yeah, that one's delicious as well. The reason this is going to be so tough is that, so the Dunkin' Donuts has a little bit of a, 
a different aftertaste. But whatever that aftertaste is, I think it makes it taste really great when I add cream to it. So this might be the first time where we've had the scores flip-flop from the first round to the second round. Typically, whoever is on top in the first round is also on top in the second round, but it might flip-flop this time. So let's see how it goes. But now I'm going to go ahead and give the Dunkin' Donuts a score. Yes, yeah, when I tasted it that time, the aftertaste was actually a pleasing aftertaste for sure. So that's why I like to go back and forth, side by side. It makes all the difference. I can compare and contrast between the two. Um, and usually a, pop, a number pops right into my mind, but um, what am I thinking here? I'm going to give them a 94 in the first round. And now for the caribou coffee. Yeah, so that is um, maybe a little bit less flavor, but a little bit smoother. And I honestly, um, I'm going to give them a 94 as well. This matchup, matchup is going to come down to the second half. So I'm going to pause this video, add a little bit of cream, and we'll be back for the second half of this competition. Thanks for watching. bit of cream we're ready to taste them again same thing I'm gonna taste it uh, twice get an overview on the first taste and score it on the second taste so we'll start off with the Dunkin Donuts Yeah, with, with uh, Dunkin' Donuts with a little bit of half and half is almost the perfect coffee. I really love that one. So now let me get an overview on this Caribou Coffee. A little bit dark in here. I apologize for that. We'll have to play around with the lighting on the next, vi on the next video. Yeah, the flavors have stepped up their game with a little bit of half and half for that caribou as well. So, man, this is going to be really tough for me. Let's go ahead and give this Dunkin' Donuts a score. That is really good. Um, this might be the highest score I've ever given, but uh, I think I'm going to give them a 98. And now for the caribou. Yeah, that's delicious as well. So I've got a theory. I don't know if uh, if I'm on the right track or not, but Dunkin' Donuts does not disclose the origin of their beans, and that's very odd for such a well-known company. Typically, kind of people these companies kind of take pride in where their beans come from, and I honestly think that Dunkin' Donuts has this special blend, and they don't want anybody knocking it off because the flavors in there shine big time. Uh, it's it's good black, and it's great with cream. Now this caribou is the same. Um, they have perfected a smooth coffee, but it just doesn't have as much flavor as the Dunkin' Donuts. So with this caribou, while it's an awesome coffee, very top of the line, uh, I'm going to give them a 96. So let me pause the video, tally up the scores, and we are going to de declare a season two grand champion. Don't go anywhere.
All right, we're back to declare a winner in the season two finale. First off, we have Dunkin' Donuts. They scored 94 in the first half, 98 in the second half, for a total of 192. And Caribou Coffee. They scored a 94 in the first half, 96 in the second half, for a total of 190. Both of these scores are really high. It's rare that I score two coffees as high as this. And it's also amazing that it came out in this season where the theme of the season was inexpensive coffees. Every bag of coffee was purchased at Walmart and the average price was just over $5. So it's pretty amazing to find two amazing coffees in, in a, a season where the theme was inexpensive coffee. So. We have determined our Season 2 Grand Champion, Dunkin' Donuts. I am a huge fan of Dunkin' Donuts. I'm actually a huge fan of Caribou as well, but Dunkin' Donuts with half and half is just amazing. You can't go wrong with it. So, um, I also do something else. I either give them a recommendation or a disrecommendation since both of these made it to the finals. I obviously highly recommend both of them. But uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope to see you in Season 3 of the Bracketology of Coffee. Thanks for watching.